gang, how are we now? It's been a little while since we had an opportunity to have a catch up and a chat. First, let's get the hard sell out of the way. My wife and I have signed up to OnlyFans, but not for what you think. It's an opportunity actually to get closer to all of the amazing fans who follow us on social media, to actually give you some behind the scenes stuff on mental health, on fitness, on nutrition, on training tips, everything else. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today, but there's gonna be more videos like that and on Instagram. It's not past my attention that the world is on its arse and falling apart. We're in lockdown 3.0, America's gone completely mad. People are breaking into the Capitol building uh, and getting shot doing it, which is obviously a bit mad. Um, Donald Trump won't leave, but let's look at ourselves in the UK and also slightly globally as well. Everybody at the moment is freaking out and we're not really necessarily equipped to deal with this kind of uh, lockdown issues and some of the problems that we are facing. And one of the things I wanna just cover off because there's been a lot of heat in media about it, is obviously the the body shaming thing. So lots of people in January like to get in shape. Uh, lots of people like to train. Um, other people have now gone completely against that. Like you should never diet, you should never do this, you should never restrict yourself, love the body you're in and love everything about yourself. Now I don't wanna get into all of that. My point is, there are only a few things you can control. And this is where my roundabout way of thinking comes about, is there are a few things you can control. And one of the things you can guarantee to control is how you treat your body and your mind, right? When the world is in chaos, when we're locked up, when the kids are driving you mad, I haven't got kids and everyone opens up, they're like, oh, I fucking hate kids, but I obviously really love them. It's like, fine. The point is, is that you can only control, well, of all things you can control, you can control looking after your body and over your mind. So if you wanna get really out of shape, and treat yourself like that, that's fine. But you've only got one body and you have all the health implications that go with it. There's extreme, there's there's obesity, which is putting a lot of pressure on, on the NHS and um, is obviously plays a factor in why uh, COVID has been so aggressive in certain areas, because um, obviously you are high risk if you are obese. And then obviously is the other end of people who are malnourished, who don't eat enough for, for whatever reason. Obviously a lot of this is down to mental health. One thing to consider in all of this period of time, whether you want to train or not want to train, when you are all over the place, actually focusing on yourself and changing your body and actually maybe taking some more exercise, um, eating a little bit smarter, are great ways of regaining control on a world that is falling apart. So there's nothing else going right. You can control how you eat, you know, whether you train, maybe whether you do an online course, maybe you just read a book or as simple as, you know what, I wanna start exercising. I don't wanna change my body. I don't wanna look any different, but I'd like to get my cardiovascular health a little bit better. That is a form of doing something positive for yourself. So whenever you're freaking out and you can't get control of everything, you feel like the world's against you, remember how you treat your body is so important because you only get one of it. Take a moment to realize what a lo lovely body you've got, what an amazing tool it is, what an amazing tool your mind is, and see it as an opportunity to get better. Nobody should ever tell you what you should look like or how you should look, but what, they, what you should be advised on is to be healthy or not healthy, and that's really important. It's got nothing to do with body image, it's got nothing to do with body image, or it's got nothing to do with empowerment, or going the right way or wrong way, and please be aware of dogma, i.e. when someone shouts going, this is the only way to do things. I'm just suggesting that if you're trying to control something and get a grasp on something difficult, perhaps, maybe, developing your mind, looking after your body in whatever way that is, even just, I don't know, trying to take up a sport or going to kick a football in the garden. When I say take up a sport, if you're lucky enough to have a bit of space with a garden, you know, I don't know, try golf, hitting the ball over the fence, play a bit of tennis. If not, try some body weight workout, take the dog for a walk, don't do any of that. Just eat a little bit better. Try some different food. All of these are great things. Um, hopefully that's that's a helpful little tip. I think it's important. It's something that I always remember. And whenever I got injured, whenever my career was going badly, whenever I was having stress or problems with relationships, I'd always go back to going, what can I control? Let's see if I can upgrade my mind. Let's see if I can, I can learn something new. Let's see if I can look after my body. Let's see if I can lose some weight. Let's see if I can gain some weight. Let's see if I can get fitter at uh, swimming. Let's see if I can get fitter at running. Let's see what I'm like on the walk bike. Let's see if I can learn a, a new sport when we're allowed out to play sports. It's just an idea. Let me know what you think, but um, I think it's common sense and that's all I've got to say really.